catastrophic Long Island Sound lobster die-off, which occurred in 1998 and 1999, severely impacted the Long Island Sound waters and resulted in a dramatic drop in American lobster abundance and landings. This event negatively impacted the marine environment and affected the Long Island Sound fishing industry and coastal communities, socially and economically. Due to this decline in lobster catch and the absence of an organized disposal and storage program, the retrieval of gear was deemed economically unfeasible by lobstermen and their traps were intentionally abandoned. The prohibitive cost of land storage near the Long Island coast coupled with the increased cost of transporting these traps to temporary or permanent storage elsewhere has encouraged universal trap abandonment and compounded the improper storage of surplus traps at sea. Lobster trap deployment in 1999 at the peak of the Long Island Sound lobster fishery prior to the collapse was approximately 466,530 traps for Connecticut and New York. Trap deployment has dropped significantly and mass trap abandonment began to occur after 2006 from resulting attrition of commercial lobstermen. The immediate threat to the marine environment as a result of this practice is ghost fishing of derelict traps. Ghost fishing is when um, species, lobster, sea bass, um, or any type of species are trapped in these traps because there's no way for them to get out. Um, and in the long run, if they weren't removed from the traps, they would die. Derelict traps can self-bait and double their catch rate. Derelict lobster gear damages sensitive habitats and continually captures important species, leading to reduced population fitness and significant mortalities. The trap keeps fishing continuously until the vent breaks free, but a lot of these traps, the vents did not break free, so it will just continue to ghost fish um, on the bottom of the Long Island Sound. The unfortunate consequence is that these abandoned ghost traps in the Long Island Sound represent real mortality potential for lobsters and other economically important species. To date, Cornell Marine Program staff, along with active lobstermen, removed 16,610 derelict lobster traps, weighing 830,500 pounds. I would say that was the most important part of the project, is everybody coming together, um, all our partners, the Long Island Sound Commercial Fishermen's Association. They worked with us every day. If it wasn't for them, the project wouldn't be successful, along with the entire community coming together, all the different towns, town of Brookhaven, village of Northport, working with us. They would come and crush the pots for us, use, we could use their facilities, and I think overall, the community coming together as one made the project very successful. The results of this project indicates that there is still more to be done given the estimated number of derelict lobster traps in the Long Island Sound to date. Areas of derelict lobster traps are yet to be discovered, although a significant number have been retrieved, potential impacts of critical species are still occurring. I feel good about the number of traps that we removed from the Sound, and hopefully we prevented these economically important species from being trapped again.